Welcome to part 3 of our tree weaving activity. This video will show you how to weave on the loom you created during the last video. You will need your prepared paper plate loom, brown yarn, we use two different shades, a ruler, some scissors, and tapestry needles, which are optional but can make the weaving process a bit easier. Now let's get started. Tie your piece of yarn to the warp yarn on the far right. Tie your knot near the top and then cut off the tail of the yarn a couple millimeters from the knot. Now, moving from the right to the left, you're going to weave over and under, over and under, over and under until you reach the other side. Pull all of the yarn through and then do your best to move it up towards the top of the tree. Now you're going to work your way from left to right. So go over and under, over and under, over and under again until you get to the other side and then pull the yarn all the way through. Make sure you've pushed the yarn all the way up to the top of the tree again before you start working your way back from right to left, over and under, over and under. Keep working right to left and then left to right until you've gone about a third of the way down the tree. You can use a ruler or a pencil or a fork to help you push the yarn up the tree to fill in any gaps. Continue weaving until you reach about one third of the way down the tree. Be careful while you weave because if you pull too tight then your tree will start to squeeze in and you don't want that. You want to keep the original shape. Once you're about one third of the way down the tree, give yourself about 10 centimeters of yarn and then trim it off. Now take about two arms length of yarn and fold it in half. You're going to take the two ends of the one piece of yarn and you're gonna tie them to the one piece of yarn left from the first weaving bit of weaving that you did. Tie these together. Then you're going to treat these two pieces of yarn as one as you continue your weaving. Continue weaving until you are about two thirds of the way down to the bottom of your tree. Give yourself about 10 centimeters of yarn again, and then you're gonna get three separate arm's length pieces of yarn. And together you're gonna tie those three pieces of yarn to the leftover from what you were doing before. Now you're going to treat these three pieces as one as you weave to the bottom of the plate. It may help to tie a knot in these three strands of yarn to help keep them together while you're weaving. Once you reach the bottom of the tree and everything is filled in, you can tie the weft yarn, the yarn you've been weaving with, to one of the warp yarns, the ones you've been weaving over and under. Once you've tied off your weft yarn, you can hide any of the little knots that you made when you added more yarn by pushing them to the other side and you can adjust to try to fill in gaps with the yarn as well. And now you're done! I hope you've enjoyed this activity. 